Welcome to Free Your Mind, a guided and experiential daily practice designed to dissolve past programming and expand your awareness of who and what you truly are beyond the matrix of fear, lack, and separation. Let's begin. This is a holy instant. Begin to rest and relax. An instant to stop and remember. Take a deep breath and close your eyes as you exhale. Remember who you truly are. Begin to breathe more slowly, more deeply with your attention you are not limited, but unlimited. Not mortal, but timeless. Not weak, but powerful beyond all measure. You are not the body, not even the mind. The reason that you don't experience the truth of who you are is only because you are dreaming. The core of the dream is the sense of identity that it offers you. An identity which appears to experience lack, conflict, and fear. This matrix dream character self is the self you assume you are based on your past and your conditioning. Beyond this matrix self is your true and original self which can't be conceptualized, but it can be experienced. So take a deep breath, and as you exhale, open your awareness to this holy instant now. An instant of investing your energy and attention to make contact with your unconditional freedom. Feel into it now. Feel into the frequency of your true self and use this guided experience to expand your awareness beyond the limits of your current reality. My thoughts do not mean anything. With your eyes remaining closed, begin to sense into the experience that this idea is pointing towards. My thoughts do not mean anything. Consider what it would mean for this idea to apply equally to all the thoughts of which you are aware. The reason that this idea is applicable to all of them is that they are not your real thoughts. In this moment of heightened awareness, contemplate the possibility that none of the thoughts of which you are aware are your real thoughts. These thoughts that you hear in your mind, in the language with which you are so familiar, these thoughts which use the word I as if they were speaking on your behalf. These thoughts that identify everything you see as separate and apart from everything else. 
these are not your real thoughts. And this is why these thoughts that you call my thoughts do not mean anything. Your real thoughts are the thoughts that you think with all that is. All of creation and the one infinite creator. Your real thoughts reflect only peace, love, joy, and oneness. Do any of the thoughts of which you are aware meet any of these criteria? And if not, then you have no basis as yet for comparing the false to the real. But when you do, you will have no doubt that what you once believed were your thoughts did not mean anything. So explore this perspective now. That the thoughts that you think in your mind are actually a broadcast that you are receiving. This broadcast has no care or intention for your well-being, for your enlightenment, for your happiness. And you know this from your experience, that listening to the thoughts that you think you think leads only to judgment, separation, fear, anxiety, worry, doubt, indecision, and all forms of upset. This is not by chance. These thoughts are the direct broadcast of the ego matrix. These thoughts are not your own, but they come encoded with this sense of identity that draws in your innocent consciousness, which then experiences itself through the lens and mirror of these thoughts. So the emphasis is now on the reality of what you think you think. Try to see the thoughts of which you are aware as outside rather than within. And emphasize their past rather than present status. Because all of these thoughts carry the imprint of the past. Consider that the presence of these thoughts in your mind means that you are not thinking. The presence of these thoughts in your mind is more like a hallucination, like a hypnotic suggestion being whispered in your ear. And as such, your mind is really blank rather than filled with real ideas about real people, real circumstances, and real objects. To recognize this is to recognize the emptiness of the illusions which you think you see. To recognize the emptiness or nothingness of illusion is a prerequisite for vision because as long as you believe that what you see as thoughts in your mind are true, factual, and real, then these thoughts will continue to blind you from the real world and continue to blind you from your true identity.
So now, let's begin the practice and application of this idea. Begin like this. Repeat slowly to yourself. My thoughts do not mean anything. This idea will help to release me from all that I now believe. Repeat this slowly and unhurriedly, contemplatively, a few times. Become aware of all the thoughts which your mind now contains. Allow the mind in and of itself to supply you with the content for this practice. Making your selection without judgment and without classification of any kind. Whatever thought you become aware of is a suitable subject for this practice. As each thought crosses your mind, say, this thought about blank does not mean anything. For example, this thought about tomorrow does not mean anything. That thought about last night does not mean anything. This thought about my hand being cold does not mean anything. And now continue this application on your own for the next minute. As you finish this last application, take a deep, slow, and gentle breath in. Hold it at the top for a moment, and exhale and relax as you let go of today's practice. Thank you for investing your time and energy into your awakening and making contact with your true self. If you enjoyed and benefited from this practice, Please share your experience in the comment section. Like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel to continue the journey. May you be at peace and know your true self.